Okay. Yeah. So hello everyone. This is Prelim today. I'm gonna be teaching all that how to create your own WhatsApp app in Kodaos.org. And this is the part one of this video. And you only this video is prim prim. Uh, I mean this video is premiered. So um, now the question arises that um, I also like wanna say you all one more thing that um. Now I start uploading videos after two, two to three months only. Okay, because now I have to concentrate on my studies more rather than coding. All right, so that's why I'll be now um starting. I mean, I'll I'll be now starting the new videos after two months. All right, and one more thing I will say that I have like premiered many videos, so you can watch them. Uh, we'll watch them whenever they'll get premiered. All right. So um, after they get premiered, then new videos will come only, only, only after two to three months. All right. So today we're gonna uh, we're gonna be creating a WhatsApp app in Coda Dorji app lab, and this video is prem premiered right now. All right. And if if any doubts and if you want the images that I've been used and all the things, then make sure you join my Discord server because there only I'll provide you with all the images, background voices, background color, and all the important edges. All right, now, so today I'll be just explaining you whole designing part. All right, so here you can see this is the screen one, and this is what it's an image, and this is a background color I've chosen, green one. Next, it's again an image. I have to use the icon. You have to click on choose. There, there is the option of icons. Just tap there, and here you can uh, type type the icon of info. So there you will get that. Okay. And next, I have chosen one this image picker photo. So this you can just drag the drag it and drop it here. All right. And you can change its background color and all those credit details you can change. Next, I have taken one label here. You can see. It says choose a pic as your profile picture, and there I have I've taken two text input. I have just renamed it as text one. All right, and I've just changed phone size, phone align. I mean, phone family and all those things. And next, I've taken one button which is proceed. I've just changed its background color and uh, what you can say its border color also. All right, and I've also changed its border with uh. Okay, here you can see. Yeah, I've changed its border radius also. Here you can see. Now, this is the screen two. Now here you would you can see that this is what uh, this whole thing, this WhatsApp kind of image. So it's an image that I've downloaded from Google. And if you want this image, then make sure you join my Discord server because there only I'll be providing you with this image. All right. Now this is what it's an image three. I just dragged it and dropped it here so that the user's profile picture should be displayed here. All right, and next thing is what it's a label I've taken. It's again a label, and this is what it's a text input. And here I've I've uh, written at the place of placeholder input user's phone number. And there we have a button. I've just uh, erased its text, and I've chosen one image here, and uh, I've chosen the icon as search bar. All right, now it's again a WhatsApp image. Now it's a label name of the person that you have searched. And it's again a label, phone number of the person. All right. Yeah. Now next is screen three. So, uh, in the on this screen, users will chat with each other. All right. So this is what it's an image file you can see. And uh, this thing, what is this whole thing? This green, green color and all. It's a button. Okay. I've taken one button here. So like here you can see, I've changed this background color to green and text color to black. I mean white. Here you can see it all the things here, and next I've taken one image, one label, one again label, and one button, and this black black thing you can see what's that? So it's a text area that I've chosen. All right, and it's a text input that I've placed here, and I've uh, written at the place of placeholder as input your message here, and next you can see we have two buttons here. One says receive, where we'll be receiving the messages, and one says for sending. All right. And uh, there we have one button for back. Next is screen four. So here you can see, uh, it's there is only one text area. You can just drag it and drop it here. So text area, I've just changed it as click here to start. I've just placed like this. And screen five, you'll be knowing about me, the developer. So when anyone will click on this I button, 
then I want uh, them to be getting about developer. Now, uh, if I just like show you a quick demo of our app, so I can choose a good image, um, like this one again, and I can input my name as real and mobile number is one two three four five six all right now i can tap on proceed your profile is now created it says your profile is now created now i just have to tap here you can see i have my profile picture is displayed here now we have uh, the name and the contact number also now here i just have to uh, search the other user's contact number but yeah make sure that the other user should also register on this app now like if I just share my uh, share this link so I'm just opening my app on a new tab also so that you can see so image here I can choose one like this one and name is you can say one checker and mobile number like two 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 three 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 whatever you want and if you tap on this i button then you'll be knowing about me you can tap on back now click on proceed your profile is now created it says your profile is now created i just have to tap here you can see i have my profile picture every name and the contact number also now i just have to search the contact number um which i have registered here so that contact number is one two three four five six so i just have to search here one two three four five six tap on search button then here you can see uh, you have this my profile now here also you can see this is my profile only now what's this contact number so it is 222333 whatever so i'll be just searching at 222333 upon search by we can see we have that now here i can like chat with her all right and i can say hello tap on there all right now let's see if I get it or not. Tap on receive. Okay. Now here I can say hello. How are you? Like that. Tap on thing. Now let's see if I get it. Okay. Now I can chat here. I am fine what about you like that okay like this here i can write that i'm also fine like whatever you want to write here you can I'm also fine. Now I can tap on receive. Now yeah, I can like send the message. Great. Tap on send. Now if I put it here, you can see our app is working fine. Now I can tap on back and yeah. This is all the app. So yeah, uh, like I've just shown you a quick demo of the app, and also we have discussed the design part. So now in the next part we'll be doing we'll be discussing the coding part of our app. And if you have any doubts, if you want the images and all the things, then make sure you join my Discord server. So yeah, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. And yeah, I also wanna tell you an important notice. That is that after two now, after two to three months only you'll be getting uh, new videos on my channel. Alright, now he you can see that I have premiered many videos. So uh you can watch the, those premiered videos and uh, after two to three months only you'll be getting a uh, new new videos on my channel my live live streams and all all right so yeah now it's time for seeing you all a big big bye thanks for watching and yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe bye bye